today the ASC 3202B. Okay, today we are going to be looking at the web access controller. Okay, I'm really excited about this device because one, it is so easy to configure. I have used many different access control devices with very many different brands before. However, though, this one is so easy to configure. All you use is a standard web-based browser, log into the actual device and complete your configurations. Okay, there's two modes on this product. We have main and we have sub. Now, if it's the main unit, then of course, obviously, this will be the boss of your topology solution. If it's the sub unit, then of course, it will follow lead point set by the main unit. Now, if you actually include lots of subunits, you can actually have 19 different subunits, which is the equivalent to 40 doors, and it will be able to support 1,000 users. So, an exciting feature to this device is the ability to power locks. We have three different types of locks. We've got the mag contact, we have the stripe contact, and of course we have the bolt lock. With that said, then of course we can actually power that with this device. It will be able to provide a 12 volt, 1000 milliamp supply to those types of locks. And let's not forget, this product is powered by PoE. That's simply amazing. Okay. Connectivity options for this device will consist of DMSS, the mobile app, DSS, and of course, a DSS Agile 8. Okay, so let's talk about the actual installation, and of course, obviously, that massively powerful benefit of PoE. So, of course, if we install the PoE to this device, and then everything is, in fact, actually ran to this, then, of course, that will be an easier installation. We will be able to save less in the actual cabling, less in the troubleshooting. We can, of course, obviously, have this one installed as the main unit on two or three switches away, we can in fact actually have the other unit installed on the sub. We don't need to in fact actually use a, like a multi-alarm alarm cable to connect one to another to another. We can do all of that with IP. So of course this device will better your installation. Okay, so we're gonna log into the web access control interface. And as you can see, this is based on the same Web5 technology that we're gonna be deploying throughout the course of the year. Now, as you can see, inside a series so of course this is the new name that we'll be deploying for the web access controller series all right let's get logged in okay once you're in the actual device then of course you can see the actual dashboard and of course this is going to be populated over a period of time as i get to use the product now this is so easy to configure when you go into the device management, then of course you will be able to see your particular device. I've already got my main unit. And then of course you will see all of your online subunits. And then of course they will be available to configure from this location also. And of course that's the best part as well because we were just having a conversation a moment ago. Since it's now IP connectivity and not RS-485 and not multi-alarm cable, then that means I can actually put one main unit on the third floor, I can put one subunit on the first floor, I can then link them together via IP, and then of course integrate one whole access control solution. Okay, if I go into person management, then of course this is where I'm going to be adding all of the people to be able to access the actual devices or stroke doors. And of course, like when you click on add, you can clearly see username, authentication, how you're going to get in, password, card, fingerprint permission to be able to get into which doors in question. If I get rid of this, I go into the access control configuration. Then of course I can set up the actual schedules. I can set up their permission settings with what they can and cannot do and how they do it via the actual permission settings. I can also set up the door parameters in the event that one of the door was kept open. And of course it exceeded the actual opening time, meaning that it's been propped open or left open. I can go into access monitoring. I can then monitor live events of the actual controls and I can in fact actually override if needed. I can go straight to this door right now, click on open, I will hear the relay, door is open, five seconds latching time, it will go closed again. And if I keep this open, then of course I will get a full history of what's going on. If I was to add this to my DSS, I will get a complete duplicate mirror image of this page also. DSS looks exactly like this when you're utilizing access control. When I go into reporting, I have a wide range of features. I've got the actual alarm unlocking. I've got the uh, unlock records. I can then in fact actually apply filters. I can export. 
And then finally, if I go into device, local device configuration, then of course, it's completely feature rich. I've got access card rules, maintenance, I've got accounts, times, versions, firmware, system updates. It's completely packed full here, okay? Whenever I'm done, I can just click back on home and then of course, I will be presented with these six options to be able to make any further changes again. So, so easy to be able to configure this web access controller. Okay, this concludes our video of the ASC3202B. So this product will most likely be used commonly in office, schools, warehouse, and factories. Okay, this concludes our video of the ASC3202B, an excellent device. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. All the best.